Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create a tombstone for use inside of Esprit's simulation. So this is a tombstone model that is uh, created by a company called Tombstone City. And this is a 800 by 800 uh, square tombstone. So the way that this would be used you know you're gonna have your fixturing and your parts you know on these sides and we'll need to develop some locations for those but the first thing that we want to do like all products is we want to make sure that it's oriented and positioned correctly so we could see the center of the table is about the axis which is good and then we see the normal vector is the z-axis so normally this would be fine but this is a horizontal and uh, usually this would be mounted on a horizontal machine and uh, the z-axis points toward the spindle so if this is going to be loaded onto the machine table directly we don't want it normal to the z we want it normal to y if you're going to have some sort of subplate that's going to be underneath this that would first be mounted to the machine and then this would be mounted on top of that uh, then yes uh, we would probably want this along the z-axis but right now I'm going to assume that this is going to be loaded with the plate sitting right on top of the table so what we can do here is grab this bottom face and then come here and I'm gonna say shift and align Y and when I do that we see that the Z is facing let's say you know if we were looking at the machine standing in front of the machine the spindle would be coming this way and then the Y axis would be going upward so this depends on you know how you want this to be it's not really a big deal because you could always rotate the tombstone you know when you load it into the Esprit's digital twin you could rotate it by 90 degrees and everything is fine but you know just to eliminate that step so now we're looking at these sides so I'm looking at my Z this is going to be the side that will basically be at B0 so 0 you know 90 uh, you know 180 270 etc now if you have a particular setup that you want to use uh, and you know where like the mounting locations are going to be then you know you can we're gonna we can go ahead and position our UVW where that would be but uh, for this for me uh, you know, for general use for different people, what I'm going to do is create uh, what we call a fixture adapter position on each face that's just going to be basically in the middle of each face. And then I, you know, the user can then reposition their fixture by moving it along X and Y to the proper location. So the first thing that I want to do is I'll come here to. Uh, show you that we have the work plane from geometry command if I pick this face uh, we could see that it looks like it positions it right in the middle and then we can come here to rotate UVW and what I want to do is rotate about W negative 90 so I'll put in 0 0 0 and then minus 90 for the W and this way my my X is sideways and my uh, Y is up and down uh, kind of like on a vertical mill if you just kind of stood it up on its end so we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and and you know save this out as we'll call this fixture adapter B0 FA underscore B0 I'll hit enter and what I want to do now is just kind of double click XYZ and just show you we have a new command in this version uh, 4.4 it's called modify work plane if I click on that I can move about either a rotation vector 
or I can say actually digitize the Z axis and then I can move this along Z and I could pick any any point or whatever and when I do that it's going to lock it there and then I could pick the Y and this is going to move it up and down and again I can find that center point and this will give me the location and then if I want to rotate things you know because uh, you know whatever reason um, I can rotate them so uh, it, this is already positioned but but you can rotate by clicking on one of the rotation uh, vectors here and it could be rotated about a specific angle so uh, we can achieve that using uh, this positioning using multiple uh, different ways uh, but once we have that first one in this list here what I'm going to do now is come over here and pick rotate and down here it says what is the line of rotation I'm going to pick that center axis and then the angle of rotation is going to be 90 degrees I'm going to hit enter and you'll see that my work plane is positioned at the center of that uh, next face here so I'm just going to say FA underscore B 90 and then we'll come to rotate and here uh, a quick tip you could just hit enter three times one two three and that will just repeat the same thing that we did I'm gonna do FA underscore 180 and then I'm gonna hit rotate enter 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 and then uh, FA underscore 270 Oop, I want the B in there B270. Oh, and I didn't do it on this one. So I'll just right click and say rename. And we'll put that B in there. So now I have all of the um, axes or uh, uh, fixture adapter positions uh, listed and created. And now what I could do is just make sure nothing is highlighted and come over to File save as and then I'll save this wherever I want to keep it I'm gonna come to fixtures tombstone city tombstones this is a square and we want to save it as a fixture file and that will be added to my list and now we can go ahead and use this inside of Esprit simulation okay so let's go to the machine view <clears throat> we'll come here to the machines and I'll just load in an, <clears throat> an 8000 series horizontal that I have excuse me and uh, here it is DMG Mori uh, NH NHX so I'll just kinda make this a little more clear and on the machine we'll load a fixture and uh, here's the one that I'm making today so we look at it there it is I say okay and we see that it appears you know right where it's supposed to with the Y facing upward um, and now uh, just for you know the video purpose I'm gonna load a fixture onto one of the sides here so we'll just come to fixtures um, I don't know chick one lock will load a vice so uh, let's load the complete vice so <laughs> we see that it will appear at the center there and then you know I can move it over two inches in X I can move it up you know four inches in Y or something uh, but you know you typically have that mounted to something else and then this would be on top of that and then um, you know you can you can choose you know the side that you want so if I want it on 180 there it is so anyway uh, you know you would mount your workpiece and then make your program and go from there so hopefully this helps you remember that if you are planning to have some sort of base plate adapter plate spacer or whatever that this would mount to then you would want to have this oriented along the Z otherwise make it along the Y and you should be good to go